Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and please don't mind my messy hair. So with that being said, let's see what we are going to create today. So we are going to create this sports opener animation in After Effects and it's very easy to create. You can use it for whatever type of projects. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of these images. So I have these images of athletes which don't have any background. So I downloaded these from unsplash.com. So you can just import them on your own. Also, I have a couple of these textures which I will put a link in the description from where you can download these exact textures. So these are again from Unsplash. So I'll put a link so you can just download them and import them in After Effects and you are ready to go. So we'll begin by creating a new composition. Let's go to composition, new comp, and I'm going to call this one image one. Width and height is gonna be 19, 20 by 10, 80 and Frame rate 30 fps duration you can pick 10 seconds whatever you want just click on ok so we have our first composition now i'm going to select this and press ctrl d to create another composition for our second image and i want one more for our main composition where we will do all the things so just click on ok so we are going to first open up the image one and let me just quickly select the image which we have over here now i'm going to drag it and it's quite big so i'm gonna just scale this down and just place it somewhere in the middle perfect and let's do the same thing with the image 2 so let's open this up and let's drag our image 2 again it's quite big so i'm going to just drag it up over here and i think yeah, this looks perfect let's go back to the main composition and we are done with the images now we are going to add our background and for that i'm going to use a couple of these textures so first let's create a new composition let's call this textures and texture and rest of the things will remain same just click on ok and inside this composition i'm going to first import this one right here and it's quite big so i'm going to just scale this down little bit and now you can just place it wherever you want let's place it over here and i don't want it to be this grayscale image so i'm gonna add a little bit of color so let's apply tint and let's drag it over here for black i'm going to map this to red so we have something like this now in order to make this more prominent i'm going to apply curves so let's search for it and i'm gonna drag it over here now you can play around with the curves and just to make it a little bit darker something like that perfect so we have our image and now i want more texture on top of this so for that i'm going to use this texture number three which we have over here again i'm gonna drop it over here it's quite big so let's just scale this down and just place it randomly wherever you want like that now for the blending mode i'm going to change this from normal to multiply so that we can have both the textures visible something like that now i want more of red color into this so for that i'm going to just select this texture to which we have over here and i'm going to just switch these colors so just click on swap and now you can see we have more of red color and less of the white background perfect so i also want this texture to be animated so instead of uh, making it still we are going to just split this up so i'm going to just move like four frames ahead and i'm going to select both of these layers and press ctrl shift t to split these layers and just move them to the top now i'm going to select the top layer and i'm going to just randomly move it so that we have a little bit of variation and i'm going to do the same thing with this one which is over here and i'm going to just move it down so that we have a little bit of variation in this as well again let's move like eight frames and select both of these press ctrl shift d and let's move them to the top and we are going to repeat the same thing so i'm going to just make this a little bit bigger and we can just probably rotate it as well so let's just set this to something like 90 perfect and just place it wherever you want and we can do the same thing with this as well let's scale this up and i'm going to just place it over here perfect let's again move like four frames and we have to repeat this step uh, quite a bunch of times so we have our texture now if i play back you can see we have this animated texture now i don't want this to be this long so what we can do is we can just simply select this endpoint and just move it over here now we can right click and let's just trim comp to work area perfect so we have our composition let's go back to the main comp and i'm going to just select this texture and let's drag it over here 
so we have our texture now you can see that it will stop right after here so i want this to continue and in order to do that we can right click go to time enable time remapping hold on the alt key and click on the stopwatch to add this expression just type loop out and once you're done with this you can pretty much extend this however you want and you can just extend it to something like that perfect so here we have our background and we have the animations yeah i think this looks good so before we continue if you enjoy my content and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so if you want to support me you can check it out link for that is in the description so let's continue perfect so we are ready to add one more texture on top of this so let's select this one which is this paper texture so i'm gonna drop it over here let's rotate it by something like negative 90 press s to scale this down something like that so here we have this again i'm gonna change its mode to multiply so that we have a little bit of paper texture now we can do one more thing let's apply curves to this and i want a little bit of its texture to be visible as well something like that now we can press t and lower down its opacity to something like 50 perfect so we have added one more texture on top of this like that so we are pretty much done with this now let's add our image so i'm gonna select this top one which is image one and i don't want this to be in color so let's apply tint and let's drag it over here also we can apply curves to make this pop a little so let's just increase the contrast not much just a little bit yeah perfect so we have our image now i'm going to select this and let's pick a position where you think that this will look good so somewhere around here yeah i think this looks good perfect now we are going to i'm going to select this press p for position and let's go to somewhere around one second and let's add a keyframe let's go to the very beginning and i'm going to just move it to this side again it's completely up to you can just move it to whatever direction you want now let's select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor again if your graph looks different then make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph i'm going to select the endpoints and make your graph to look something like that let's go back and now if i play back we have this image coming in and i think yeah this looks perfect so i don't want this a uh, static image i want like a couple of these trailing images as well so it's actually quite easy let's select this press ctrl d to duplicate this and on the bottom one i'm going to search for fill and let's just drag it on top of this we can probably delete these two effects we don't need them perfect now in order to make it visible we can just add a delay of like one frame like that now we can select this press ctrl t let's select this and let's add one more copy and just delay it once again and let's do this one last time so we have these copies and i'm going to select the top one and i'm going to change this color to something like blue and the middle one we can just make this white and at last we have this red perfect and i also don't want this image to be this empty so we can have a little bit of drop shadow and let's search for drop shadow and i'm gonna drag this onto the stop image and for color you can pick whatever you want let's pick white and let's make this 100 percent and i'm going to just place it like that so yeah, i think this is looking fine perfect so here we have our image so now our next step is to add the text it's actually quite easy just select the text tool and you can just click wherever you want now you can type your text so i'm gonna type jessica taylor so here we have our text and i'm using this montserrat black font again completely up to you, you can use whatever you want let's quickly align this and i'm going to just scale this down something like that now you can play around with its position perfect and we have our image and we have our text so just place it wherever you want and in case you want to change the position of your image you can't do that because you already have applied the keyframes if you do it will mess it out so you can do this thing you can create a null object and let's create a null object now i'm gonna select all of these images and let's just parent it to the null now you can select the null and you can just move it however you want and all of these images will be remain same 
so we have our text now i'm going to add a little bit of animation to this and i want this to be below all of these images so let's add a position keyframe somewhere around here and let's just make it like that and i'm going to just switch these two keyframes like this so that we have this text coming out like that again let's select these press f9 and let's change the graph to look like that perfect we can probably hide this out we don't want to see it in the beginning so here you can see we have our text popping out something like that yeah i think this is looking perfect so we have created our first animation now we are going to create the second animation but we are going to use all of these assets so in order to do that i'm going to select everything right click and let's pre-compose and i'm going to call this animation one now we have this animation one and i'm going to select this in the projects panel press ctrl d to duplicate this now i'm going to double click to open this out now we have all of these set up so all we have to do is just simply change the images so i'm going to select all of these images holding the shift key now you can go and select the image too which we have over here hold on the alt key and just drag it over here now you can see that we have replaced the image with this and we can do one more thing i'm going to go inside this composition and i'm going to flip this to the other side so we can uncheck the scale properties and just add a negative in front of the x value so that it will flip the image so we have uh, animation 2 we have the image flipped and also we can change its position and orientation all of that so i'm going to just move all these layers to the very beginning select this press u and let's change the final position so finally i want it over here and initially we can just place it to something like that so that it comes from the other angle perfect let's do the same thing with the text as well so i'm going to select the text make sure all the keyframes are selected and just just place it wherever you want now we can just change the text to whatever we want change this to marianne and whatever you want perfect so we have all of these applied let's quickly delay the images so that we have this really nice trail like that now we can do one more thing let's select this and i'm going to change the direction of the drop shadow to something like that perfect so here we have everything now we can also change the color of the background all you have to do is just apply hls color balance and i'm gonna drag it onto the texture comp and just play around with the hue to change it to whatever you want and i want this to be a little bit bluish something like that perfect so we have these two animations and we have animation one we have animation two so we have this first animation and i'm going to make it stay a couple of frames and after that we can have our second animation coming in and just pick a point where it starts so somewhere around here there you go now we have everything set up perfect now our last step is to add a third slide where we have both of these athletes so we can create another composition and i'm going to call this one vs for versus and let's just click on ok perfect so we are going to add the same background so for that i'm going to just open up one of these compositions and let's just simply select both of them press ctrl c to copy and just paste it over here now i'm going to do the same thing and we can probably select this and just move it to the very beginning perfect and let's open up the animation one and i'm going to do the same thing let's select these two and just copy and just paste it and just move it to the beginning so we have both of these textures and we are going to import the images as well so let's go back to the animation two and let's select all of these images press ctrl c to copy and let's go to the verses and paste and do the same thing with animation one let's select all of these press ctrl c and let's paste them now i'm going to quickly change their color so that we can easily identify them and now we can just align their position so let's just make them like that so we can select all of these press u and let's play around with their position so i want all of these images to somewhere in the middle and let's select the selection tool and just place it somewhere around here let's select all of these 
and I'm gonna place it over here so yeah I think this looks good perfect now we can change their positions as well so we have this and we can just make it come from the top and we can select these and I'm gonna make it come from the bottom something like that perfect now again we can just add the delay of one frame to all of these just simply do that perfect so we have added the delay now you will notice one more thing that we are only able to see one background but we actually want both of these backgrounds to appear so in order to do that we can just create a mask for that so let's create a new solid and just make it whatever color you want does not matter so i'm gonna hide this we don't actually want to see it i'm going to place this over here and i'm going to select the pen tool now we are going to draw a rough mask to the area in which we want one of these texture and the other on the opposite side so make sure that this solid is selected now you can just randomly click and just simply draw a very rough mask something like that so here we have our mask now you can select any of these two layers i am going to select this one and i'm going to just change their track mat and just pick up to this now again for the bazillionth time if you are using the older versions of after effects then these options will be changed you won't have these pick whips instead you will have alpha alpha inverted so just select both of these layers and set them to alpha matte now here you can see we have this and if you want you can play around with the texture and you can just make it however you want perfect so here we have our both the images and if i play back you can see all of these comes in we can probably make this in the beginning like that and if you want you can just simply copy the text from here as well let's copy this and just paste it over here and we can do the same thing with this just copy and paste it and i'm going to select both of these press u don't want any kind of animation i'm going to just place them where we want so this goes over here and this one goes to this side and we can just move them to the bottom like that and we can probably place it over here so there you go now we have this final slide now we can go back to the main composition we have this first slide we have the second slide and at last we can just drag in our final one something like that so here you can see we have this and after that we have this one and at last we have both of these perfect now we can do one last thing we can have a little bit of stop motion kind of vibe so for that let's create an adjustment layer and i'm going to apply posterize time and let's drag it over here frame rate i'm gonna set this to something like 12 and if i play back now you can see we have this very nice jittery kind of motion and which makes it look even better so this is how you can create these kind of sports openers and you can just have whatever athlete you want all you have to do is just simply go inside the image composition and you can just replace it with whatever you want and you are ready to go so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and in case you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one